Howdy, welcome to the channel. Today, we're starting a new series around the Ryobi 4-volt lithium ecosystem. Let's get started. So the new Ryobi 4-volt lithium ecosystem are these single cell batteries, and they're 4-volt, and you either have a 2-amp hour or a 3-amp hour battery, and they simply charge with the USB-C charging port at the top, and some of them even have a fancy power indicator where you push the button and it shows green if it's charged, or red if it's close to the end of the battery or completely dead. Now all of my four volt kits all came with just over a 20 inch cable. They also come with the two amp hour four volt battery and these are three inches long and about an inch in diameter. So the current tools that I have purchased within the four volt lithium ecosystem is the personal fan, the carving tool, the high-speed rotary tool, a lot of people call it a Dremel. You have the flashlight and, of course, the screwdriver. So today we're going to be talking about the Ryobi 4-Volt Lithium Personal Clip Van Model FVF51. So this kit is currently going for $39.97 at homedepot.com. Or for the same price, you can actually get one with the additional battery with the fancy button on top that lets you know if it's green charged or red not for the exact same price of $39.97. Now Ryobi says that this fan has up to seven hour runtime with it on low, and on high it will put out up to 135 CFM. So the fan with battery weighs 348 grams, or just over three quarters of a pound. So today we're gonna look at the pros, and we're gonna look at the cons of this personal clamp fan and how it does. So one of the big pros about this is the portability. This thing is so small. Look at how small it is. It's so easy to carry around. This, you could easily throw this in a backpack or a large purse. And it also has a clip. So you'd be able to clip this on anything and it has a nice rubber footprint on this. So you'd be able to clip it on the side of a table, for example. And you can even move it whenever it's on the side of the table and it stays on. You can also clamp this onto poles, other such type items. So this system would actually work really good for parents with little ones because little ones typically have a difficult time controlling their body temperature. You could take this and point it at the body of the little one and turn it on when they're in a stroller and you're out in the park or you decided to go to the amusement park and you didn't realize it was going to be 100 degrees. If you had something like this, you could blow it across the baby and keep them cool whenever they're in their stroller. Along those same lines, this would actually work really good for the elderly because you could have this and they could have a personal fan blowing to them. With a seven hour battery life on low, that would give them seven hours of cooling that they have. And if you needed to run it on high, well, it's simple. You buy one, you buy some more batteries, or some more batteries, or some more batteries. And you could easily throw all these batteries. They don't take up much space at all. You could throw those into a bag. You could throw it into your pocket of your wheelchair, and whenever you needed one, you'd simply swap out the dead battery, put in the new battery, and you still have more power for your fan. So the only con that I've found with this system so far is how hard it is to push the clip. Now for me, that's not difficult at all. I can easily do that. I can do that with two fingers. That's, that's not a big deal for me. However, since I mentioned the elderly with this, the elderly would actually have a difficult time to open this because of how much force it actually takes. So as you can see, this is a metal spring system that is in here. What I would like to see Ryobi do on a further iteration of this is make it where this is an adjustable dampener over here. You put it in position and you can actually tighten it. That way you don't have to sit here and as an elderly or a young child try to open this up, you have an adjuster over here. So once you get it into position, you lock it and it simply stays on whatever object you put it on. As an additional pro, this fan also has very localized movement with it. So if you have somebody who's sensitive to having a lot of air blown in their face, then it's not going to hit them. And someone who needs the air, you can put it directly in front of them and it can blow across them. So to operate the personal clip fan, we simply untwist the side where the battery goes. We slide in our battery and put the cap back on. And on the back of the unit, we have a push button. So the first push puts it on high. 
and there's high, and then we can put it on low. So again, on high, you're gonna get up to 135 CFM. It lasted about two and a half hours when I used it on the high setting. But on low, you're gonna get lower CFM, but you're gonna get a lot longer battery life, up to seven hours with one of these two amp hour batteries. So would I recommend buying the Ryobi personal clip fan? Yes, because if we look at our cons, there's only one, and it's the strength of the clip. And as long as that's not an issue for you, then that's not even a con. Everything else is literally all pros. So for me, it was a no brainer. It's great, I love it, especially in the heat here in Texas. I can just simply turn that and have it facing to me, and I can have a continual breeze going and keep me cool even whenever it's 110 outside. Thank you very much for watching my summary of this tool from the four volt lithium ecosystem. And if you have any questions or comments about this tool or any of the other ones, please leave it down below. And if you do have a question or comment, I will be sure to post it like I did with this one. Thank you very much for watching.